yeah. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Patty Telly. Nobody got hit. Spin a block again. And I'm back with another video in my small YouTuber help series. And this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to react to videos without having to edit. Well, not without having to edit, because you can still edit afterwards if you want. But how to watch a video, record yourself watching a video, and post it to YouTube at the same time. You know what I'm saying? So basically, the way how DDG does it, how Flight does it, how Dub does it. All the major YouTubers, you know what I'm saying? So, this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. It's quite simple. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for the tips. So, like I said, I'm about to show you how to do that, and I'm giving you these tips for free. I'm just asking you for a simple, simple, simple task of smashing the subscribe button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're a previous subscriber, what's up, gang? You know what I'm saying? We in this bit. No more long talking, but let's hop into the computer. So, this program that I'm using here is called Streamlabs and what Streamlabs is, is it's basically a, a streaming software, okay? Really so nigga. Essentially what you're doing with this method is, is what you do is you, you go live on YouTube and the beauty about going live on YouTube and reacting to a video is the minute you end that live, it automatically records the video for you and it automatically uploads the video to YouTube as well for you. <laughs> That's right. You know what I'm saying? You could you could schedule a live, you could you could like set reminders, you could premiere, like you know what I'm saying? And this is very helpful. Okay? Me personally when I react to video, I do this method sometimes, but I prefer to record it by myself, add some edits to it, because I like to edit videos. If you see in a few of my videos you will see that I like to add at least some type of edit to my videos. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my choice. It's not like something that's gonna guarantee you more subs. It's just something that I like to do. Because personally, I feel like being able to edit is a skill in itself. And if I'm doing YouTube and I'm practicing a skill, that's two ways I can get paid. You feel me? Like, we all about getting paid in this bit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I I'm actually making another video soon on ways YouTubers can get paid before monetization and even after monetization. So, stay tuned for that video. But on the computer, right? So what this program here is called Streamlabs OBS. It's a very simple tool. I'll show you how to set it up right now. Okay, so I want to go here, streamlabs.com. And from here, from this site right here, you can simply download the link. Okay? And since, it's, as you can see, I already have it downloaded. It's a simple download. You just make sure you have enough space, right? Operating system that's required to use the software but they're gonna let you know on the site if you have the correct requirements or the right requirements to be able to use this, the software successfully okay so okay once we got that download bing bam boom okay so this this tutorial is gonna be a simple tutorial just as the bare bones on how to get it set up okay if you want another tutorial on how to like because on Streamlabs, you can do a lot. You, they have like presets, they have themes, they have layouts you could do if you're a gamer. You know what I'm saying? That, that'll like set your whole screen up, screen up a certain way. Okay, so, but this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to, how to simply get on here, how to go live, how to record it, and how to, how to automatically set it up. Well, how to set it up to automatically post straight to your YouTube channel. Okay, so let's get it. So you open up the software, right? I'm gonna start a new one so I can show you guys. When you, when you get a software, what you do is you go to settings, and here what you do is you go to stream. Usually, I found there's two things you can do. When you come here, you can a sign in on Streamlabs from your YouTube account, which is okay, right? But I find that when you do that, uh, let's say when you end your live, it doesn't automatically post to your YouTube page, right? But and the method that I have now is what you do is you would go into YouTube, you go into YouTube account right here. I pull up my YouTube page right now, and okay, you, you hit go live, right? And this is gonna bring you to this back office right here, okay? So when you get here, what you're gonna do is you wanna copy this thing right here that says stream key, okay? So you hit copy. It's gonna copy the clipboard as you can see it says right there. Then you come back to Streamlabs and you copy it in right in here. Okay, you copy it in right there, and then it's now linked to your to your YouTube account. You feel me? So now, once you do that, you basically you set. You honestly set. 
everything here I didn't touch anything else I didn't touch any of the settings the settings gonna be the, the, the stock settings is gonna be fine okay so hit done with that and then so these are you, you, you can also set like preset scenes okay so I'm gonna do a new one just to like for you guys so I'm gonna, I'm gonna name it YouTube tutorial okay so you come here once you're here you go here you hit the add icon the plus icon you hit that okay and then once you then do that what you do is you now you gotta bring in your sources right and these sources are essentially basically uh you can either do you can either do browser source which is like basically link it to the website you know what i'm saying the website third party widgets html yeah okay or you could do image slideshow if you want this this these other options are in case you because yeah I'm using this for YouTube but this platform is so versatile you can use it for like PowerPoints all type of other stuff okay so window capture which is the one I'm using but I want to explain what all these do in case you want to use it for something else display capture this is it this is the option that you use and let's say you have two screens okay well you can use it on this too but it's, it's much easier to set up when you have two screens okay so I'm not gonna go to that one right now I'm gonna go to the one that I use personally and the one that I use like I said is window capture so you hit window capture you add to your source and then you hit add source add a new source okay then you come down here right and so what you want to do is make sure your Google Chrome is open when you're doing this okay make sure you don't minimize it but make sure it's open and you just go to the stream labs and then you go to select options and you can see right here it says Google Chrome you want to hit that right and as you can see as I did it from right there as I did it from right there you can you can see my well the settings window that that's on my YouTube page which is like right here this right here is here right you can see that right so you hit done now when you do this is the, the the dimensions of the screen is gonna be wonky but it's a simple fix you just take your arrow create to the size that you want drag it like that bring it in and keep scaling it down until you get to the size that you want okay bam bing bang boom right so now that's your first window you can go you can go live straight from here. You can just hit live, bam, right? And you're good. But usually on reactions, the whole thing about a reaction is they want to see at least your facial expressions when you're watching the video. Okay, so now we gotta add our webcam into the window space. I don't know the, the terminology, okay, but just follow me. Follow me, it's gonna work. So now you hit plus again, you add a new source. Now the source for your webcam is called video capture device. Okay, so you see there it says a built-in webcam, Logitech webcam, capture cards. Okay, these capture cards I think they're like predominantly used for the gaming systems. Correct me if I'm wrong. Leave me leave, leave a comment in the section, a comment in the comment section if I am wrong, and maybe you could explain some more to this ever-growing small YouTuber community. Okay, so. I don't know everything, but I'm giving you guys the knowledge that I know. Like I said, I want to keep, I, want, I, I, I think it's very beneficial to pay it forward. Okay, and that means if I learn something, I'm going to pay it forward to someone who doesn't know something. You feel me? And that's how we all grow together. Right? So, smash the subscribe button. <laughs> so, you yeah, add this source. As you can see here, I pull up on the webcam. Right? So, now... You already know if you, that's how you want to look. You think you're good. Hit the, hit the add the source, and now you can see. Wow, super huge. You see the Cali. So you, you scale this one down to the size you want. You can put it here if you want. You put it down here. You can put it here. You feel me? And that's how you do it. And basically, yeah, you're done. You're done. You feel me? So. That's it. And then when you're ready to do it, you just go and hit go live, right?
and now usually when you when you hit go live yes yeah, it says go live but if you come back on the on the YouTube page we're live <laughs> but I know usually sometimes like it says live but it's like a testing page you know what I'm saying it doesn't really yeah so yeah so now you're live and then when you're done you just want to end the stream when you end the stream end the stream and it's okay that a simple trim cut, cut out music, simple operations like that. But stream ended, right? But stream YouTube, ended, so now you can either edit in studio or dismiss. If you dismiss, it's gonna automatically upload to your channel. If you go to edit in studio, now you can like add stuff to it using the YouTube editor, which is it's okay for the simple trim cut, cut out music, simple operations like that, but. I use Final Cut Pro. I think it's the best editing software out there, second to Adobe Premiere. But Adobe Adobe Premiere is like it's like a subscription base. So that means it's not a one-time payment thing. So that means you're gonna be constantly taking money out of your pocket to use it. Okay, which is not bad because you gotta pay for quality, right? But for a YouTuber who make vlogs or reactions or something, bro, you only need. Final Cut Pro, okay? So, yeah. Nobody got hit, spin a block again. Yeah, yeah. I done been too solid, so I don't got to give.